Hey everyone, this is Sansi Keith here. I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to share your wizard setup information with us on the forum so we can help you set up your Acorn CNC controller. There's a great little program built into Windows 10 called the Snipping Tool. And if you just go down to the search bar and start typing snip, it shows up. This is what it looks like. What I do is I click and I drag that down to my taskbar, which I've already done. So when you uh, click on the snipping tool, you get this right here, new, and a bunch of choices here. Um, I'm going to, if I want, I'll just show you how it works right now. I'm going to go ahead and click new, and whatever, I just draw a box around whatever I want to snip out of the screen. So I just clicked in the upper left-hand corner, drug to the right, and down. I'm holding down the left mouse button right now, and I just let go. And it just takes a picture of whatever I drew a box around on the screen and then I hit save and just save it uh, and give it a name as a PNG file wherever I want. So let's uh, learn how to use this with the wizard. When I fire up the wizard, the wizard starts in full screen mode and the snipping tool disappears and when I click on the snipping tool down in the taskbar it does not show up. So that's because the wizard is set to always be on top. And so how to uh, get other programs to show up with the wizard is I hit the minimize button here in the upper left. So I've now minimized, I've taken it out of full screen mode, the wizard here, and I can adjust the wizard to whatever size I want. Now that brings up the snipping tool here and if the snipping tool was closed for some reason you would just you know go back here and type snip or if you had it in your taskbar open it back up and it shows up so adjust the uh, the wizard now to the screen size that you want so everything's on the screen that you need to see here's the axis uh, I want to, I need to take a picture of the axis configuration of my setup and send to somebody so I click on tab 2 and I click new and then I come up here to the upper left, click and drag to the right, and it's got it. But it appears behind the wizard. So what do I do? Okay, well, you can minimize the wizard, and now all of a sudden you have the snipping tool back. The snipping tool has some very crude, rudimentary uh, ways to circle uh, items and things like that. I use that a lot, um, but if I need to write words or something on it, I'll open it up in some other program like Paint and put arrows and words on it. And here's a little eraser tool. You can just erase what you want. So if we just want to save this the way it is, maybe I want to draw the attention to like home to switch setting. I can draw that and I click save and I give it a name. So I'll just go wizard tab two for Keith and I hit OK. Now I can email that or post that on the forum, do whatever I like, but that's how you use the snipping tool. It's a great feature. I uh, highly recommend uh, using that. It takes a much clearer, nicer picture of the screen versus taking a photograph with a cell phone because it doesn't distort it and doesn't have any glare. So use the wizard to send us your um, use the uh, snipping tool to send us your wizard screenshots so we can see the settings you have. Thanks so much. Bye.